Four months ago, Father's Day on San Francisco's Embarcadero turned into a gun battleground. Bystanders hid behind cars and ran for cover as passengers inside two moving vehicles shot at each other. Here people was screaming like it was a shooting outside. So you, you closed the doors in the back of the store? Yeah, so we closed it to avoid like getting like those shooters inside. The sounds and images are still fresh for workers on Pier 39 and 14, where many hid as bullets rang out. It was scary because then, you know, you didn't know if they got caught. You didn't know if they were still here. Dashcam video captured the moment a white vehicle struck a 10-year-old girl and a black SUV a 16-year-old. Both survived. Today, San Francisco Police Chief Bill Scott announced a breakthrough in this case. We have arrested the people responsible. On that night, SFPD detained the two suspects of the black SUV, both shot during the incident. One of them was treated for life-threatening injuries and later released pending investigation. On Wednesday of this week, exactly four months since the shooting, three suspects from the white vehicle were arrested. Richard Tuiasasopo, Xavier Pittman, and a male juvenile. Arrest warrants were issued for all three of these individuals. Richard Tuiasasopo was already in custody at the time of this um, arrest. Both Xavier Pittman and the juvenile were arrested yesterday morning. Turns out Pittman won $190,000 in a settlement with the city after he was shot and injured by an undercover police officer back in 2021. He even got an apology from Chief Scott. I'm deeply sorry that Mr. Pittman was shot I also asked San Francisco Police Chief Bill Scott if all the suspects involved in the shooting have been arrested. He said the investigation is still ongoing. In the newsroom, Luz Peña, ABC7 News.